has. Dick, Dick Van Lent. One of the famous things that Dick... I, I, I'm one of the few people... I once picked Dick Van Lent up on the dock at Carg Island. We just built a yacht with Dick. Um, and I wanted... We had the owner coming out to pay the final payment on it, which was probably about £6 million pounds or the equivalent of at the time. I think the boat cost about 15 million. And I was second in command, I was the chief officer on the boat and the ropes that were holding this brand new beautiful boat, this was 1983, to the dock, were covered in oil, were, were worn, were filthy and we had the owner coming out and I wanted new lines to put out for the owner. And Dick Van Lent wouldn't give me, and I can still remember holding Dick Van Lent <laughs> and the captain of this boat, bless him, he's dead now, Jeremy Dawson Hall, I can still remember give, grabbing me from behind and pulling me back from Dick Van Lent because I really was angry about having these dirty ropes on my bloody new boat. <laughs> and believe it or not, in about two days I had new ropes everywhere. And Dick and I have been great friends ever since where we were friends before. I just thought I wanted clean ropes. But the one thing he... Clean roads on the new boat. Well, it just made sense, you yeah. know. If the guy, I mean, I spent, as everyone does, I was proud of my boat, and the boat was beautiful. It was a lovely, brand-new, Bannenberg-designed boat called Perry, so you can look it up on the internet. And, um, it, you know, and I wanted these ropes. And anyway, we got the ropes. But one of the things I'll never forget Dick for... I, I should rephrase that. One of the things I will never forget Dick Van Lent for is um, one of his sayings. I remember being at the Port Lauderdale Shah a few years back, and he said once somebody has gone, sat in a car, or owned a car with leather seats, they will always have leather seats. And it's a fact, I have leather seats in my car. I, I can't bear being in, in a car without leather seats. And he's right, once somebody has, and you've got, that, obviously, to have the money, but once you've attained, or you've, you've got to that level, where you have this most beautiful boat, you'll always want, a boat of that level, or a better boat. You never want to have something lesser, and obviously unless you go broke and you and you're bankrupt. But well, no, that was his fact. Yeah, once you give somebody something that is special and is really nice, you know they will always want that. Yeah. So you have to be able to What's give that. that to um, them. Once you've gone, he won't go back. Get ruined. I, I won't go into that. <laughs> we don't talk. Cut.